Good day everybody! For today's lesson, we'll have division of polynomials. But first, let us have a review. Divide 8 by 2. The answer is, is 4. Next, divide x cubed by x squared. And the answer here is x. Number 3. 15x raised to the fourth power divided by 5x squared. And our answer here is 3x squared. Now let's multiply. 3 multiplied by 4 will have 12. 5. 2x squared times x. And you'll have 2x cubed. Number 6, 15 minus 4 is 11. 7, 4x minus negative 4x. The answer here is 8x. Remember, you will change the sign and then proceed to addition. Now let us divide polynomial by a polynomial without remainder. So given here, is 2x squared plus 12x plus 18 divided by x plus 3. Don't forget our three steps here. Divide, multiply, and subtract. So x plus 3 will be our divisor. And then 2x squared plus 12x plus 18 is our dividend. Be sure that this dividend is arranged in standard form. Let's now divide. 2x squared divided by x, the answer is 2x. So you will align 2x to 12x. Next, multiply 2x times x is 2x squared. You will just add the exponent since they have the same base. Next, 2x times 3. And we'll get positive 6x. Then proceed to subtraction. 2x squared minus 2x squared is 0. You don't need to write here 0. 12x minus 6x. The answer here is positive 6x. Bring down 18. Going back. Let's divide 6x by x and we'll get positive 6. Then multiply 6x times x, you'll have positive 6x. Next, 6 times 3 is 18. Then subtract 6x minus 6x is 0. 18 minus 18 is 0. Therefore, our answer here is 2x plus 6. Now, let's divide polynomial by a polynomial with remainder. So, here, our divisor is 2x plus 3. And as you see, the given here is not arranged in, alpha, uh, in standard form. The first term will be 2x cubed, followed by x squared. Next is 5x, and the last one is 13. You will see here the exponent in descending order. So 3, 2, invisible 1, and 0 here. Now let us start. Divide 2x cubed to 2x. And our answer here is x squared. Next, multiply x squared multiplied by 2x. Again, x squared multiplied by 2x. You'll get 2x cubed. Next, x squared multiplied by 3. You'll get 3x squared. In closing parentheses, then proceed to subtraction. 2x cubed minus 2x cubed is... 0. 
x square minus 3x square. The answer here is 2x square. So you will change here the sign. Then bring down 5x. Going back to the first step, 2x square divided by 2x. The answer here is negative x. Next is to multiply negative x times 2x. The answer here is negative 2x square. Next, multiply negative x by positive 3. And you'll get negative 3x. Then subtract negative 2x square minus 2x square. Our answer here is 0. But you don't need to write 0 here. Next, 5x minus negative 3. So here you will change the sign. Then proceed to addition. So it becomes, this one will be positive, And we'll get positive 8x. Then bring down again 13. Divide 8x by 2x. So it's just same way with 8 divided by 2. And we'll get positive 4. Then multiply 4 times 2x. You'll have 8x. Then 4 times 3. You'll get positive 12. Then proceed to subtraction. 8x minus 8x. The answer is 0. 13 minus 12. The answer is positive 1. So therefore, our remainder here is 1 over 2x plus 3. Our answer, if it has remainder, will be composed of a quotient plus remainder over the divisor. Meaning our answer here is x squared minus x plus 4 plus 1 over 2x plus 3. Next, let us divide polynomials with missing terms. Again, the expression divisor here is x minus 2 and as you see in our given the highest degree is 2x cubed and there is no square so if it's like that you have to put here 0 x square because that is the missing term a term with a square okay you will write here uh, your term in descending order of the exponent. So let's divide 2x cubed by x and we'll get 2x squared. Next, multiply 2x squared times x, you'll get 2x cubed. Next, 2x squared times negative 2, we'll have negative 4x. Then proceed to subtraction. 2x cube minus 2x cube is 0. 0x square minus negative 4x square. You will change here the sign and then add. So our answer here is positive 4x square. Then bring down 5x. Proceed with division again. 4x square divided by x, you have 4x. Then multiply 4x times 4x. So you have 4x squared. 4x times negative 2, you get negative 8x. Then proceed to subtraction. 4x squared minus 4x squared is 0. Then 5x minus negative 8x again you will change here the sign so negative times negative is positive 
So if it's positive 8x added from 5x, we'll get 13x. Then bring down negative 26. Then divide, 13x divided by x, the answer here is 13. Then multiply 13 times x, you'll get 13x. Next, 13 times positive 2, you'll get negative 26. Then proceed with subtraction. 13x minus 13x is 0. Negative 26 minus negative 26 is, is still 0. Therefore, our answer in 5x minus 26 plus 2x cubed divided by x minus 2 is 2x squared plus 4x plus 13. Thank you for watching. This is Chang Dayan, now signing off.